Hey guys, welcome back for another war video. We are in season 20. This is war number nine. Um, we are facing Red X, and uh, we're going to get going here. I'm going to bring uh, Red Hulk, Quake, and for synergy, I am going to bring uh, She Hulk to help out uh, the uh, big, big red dude on my team here. All right, so let's get going. In uh, section one today, I am going to be on path six, and then I'm going to be on path seven in section two. Uh, right over here, we have a human torch, and uh, let's let's uh, let's bring in Quake for this fight. Uh, basically, I'm going to bring her in because uh, don't really need to worry about the power focus, power alternator. Don't really care. Um, so this is unboosted. Uh, pretty uh, straightforward, simple fight. Um, basically, I didn't boost because I didn't want to have to heal her very much. Because uh, the boost, all it was going to do was uh, deal more damage to me with the uh, suicides and stuff. So um, just rather not uh, deal with it. It's like one more, one more cycle, and that's all. So boost wasn't going to do much for me. Uh, pretty much that's it. Uh, go through one more cycle. Uh, that should be enough to kill this human torch and uh, that way we can be done with section one all right he goes down nice job quake let's move on we're gonna go to uh, the right over here in uh, section two to path seven um, i do have two fights in uh, section two so let's get started all right, first fight here is going to be Mojo. I think I fight him just about every war. I like to seek him out on the map and destroy. Uh, spite, uh, power from afar. Um, so, you know, a little bit extra power uh, from this uh, crazy looking guy. Uh, but that's basically it. I'm um, going to try to build up heat charges and just pound uh scorpion like dude into the ground that is the plan can we do it let's find out charge a heavy don't charge a heavy all right gotcha and yeah done pretty simple pretty straightforward very nice let's move on so this next fight is going to be um sentinel here and a uh, funny story about uh, the assignments here you can see the kinetic transference and aspect of evolution. Uh, originally, uh, my 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 assigned group was going to be Red Hulk, Quake, and um, um, Magneto. And in my assignments, it didn't have Magneto taking any fights. Uh, in this fight, the Sentinel fight, it had um, me using Quake with a parry style approach. Um, but when I got into the, uh, right before the fight, I looked at it and I said, wait a second, I can't do parry f style and connect transference. Um, so we quickly realized that that was the original reason why, um, I had, uh, you know, brought, I was supposed to bring, uh, Magneto, but we couldn't figure out why that was in the original assignment. So a little bit of confusion there. So he said, just bring in uh, Red Hulk. You should be fine. Um, as you can see, I did block a special one there a minute ago, and that was to build heat charges. Obviously, it gave him a lot of power, but I wanted to build up the heat charges for more damage. Um, and now, I'm just trying to bait out this special one. He's not throwing it. I'm starting to get backed up into the corner. He's not throwing it. Build, he goes up to a, a special two bar. Uh, now he's hitting me. He's up to three bars of power. I am in some serious trouble here. He's throwing a special three. I am max boosted. That's the only thing that's going to save me temporarily because who knows what's going to happen now. I'm going to launch my special three and pray that I get as much of that adrenaline healing as possible. I get it all back. Very nice. Um, that gives me a fighting chance in the rest of this fight. Uh, but uh, gotta got to really buckle down. Can't make any more mistakes. Um, and hopefully he throws some specials because that was the problem. He's just not throwing the special one. There we go. Finally got him to throw it. Very nice. I still have a good amount of heat charges. Um, okay, I'm just getting... I blocked the end of that just for the... Uh, get the indestructible off. Uh, got him down to 7%. Got to finish him off. Here we go. He's indestructible. Get the indestructible off. Got to bait out another special. Got to bait out another special. Throw it. Throw it. There we go. There we go. Good evade. Get the indestructible off and finish him off. 
Yes, uh, we get it done. Whew. <laughs> that was not ideal, but uh, we get it done. Uh, very lucky to survive, um, but uh, good finish. So we're gonna move up to Mini Boss Island, and uh, we're gonna start with this uh, this man thing. And this node here has uh, the healing on it, so his healing's gonna be increased, and he's gonna be unblockable while healing. The only time man thing heals is when he's below 50% health. He uh, starts healing on activation of a special. So um, his specials will be unblockable um, once he's below 50% health. Uh, and, um, and then for a while after, you have to dance around a little bit. Uh, that's why he's on this node. Uh, outside of that, he is uh, stubborn, so he will go indestructible on uh, dexing. Um, outside of that, pretty simple. So now if he throws a special, he's going to be uh, unblockable. Um, he hasn't thrown one yet. I get a good amount of heat charges, up to 10. I'm going to try to bait out a special here for a minute. Um, not getting him to throw it. Not getting him to throw it. Um, I make the decision, you know what? Let's uh, let's throw the special three. It shouldn't bring him to three bars of power. And it's going to do some massive damage and incinerate him. This might finish him off. Let's see. Big time. Ooh. Nice job, Red Hulk. That's the way to do it. All right, one more fight, and that's this Void on Hazard Shift. Um, I go to Half Suicides here, bring in just the Liquid Courage um, Mastery. Uh, drop Double Edge so that I'm not uh, bleeding, which will uh, give him more damage against me and all that stuff. I do put on a, uh, a healing uh, boost here, regeneration boost, and uh, just see what I can do. Uh, in the beginning of the fight, I want to match up the uh, first of his uh, debuffs so that I don't take the debuff. And then from there, I get enough heat charges where I really just want to start doing damage. And if he happens to, um, you know, land a debuff on me, I'll get it off eventually. But I'm not going to worry about it so much at that point. I'm going to keep Indestructibles off. And with 10 heat charges, I'm just going to try to do as much damage as possible. And not really worry about the debuffs. They're not going to kill me that fast. I have, I'm pretty heavily boosted. And I have full health. So um, it's going to probably do more damage to me if I'm trying to play around it too much and all that stuff. Um, which I've done before and it's gotten into trouble. I'm going to bait out heavies. Uh, punish the heavies. And uh, just really um, this fight goes um, extremely, extremely well. I've done this fight maybe um, four times, five times. And this is definitely the best run at it so far. So... Uh, void goes down, and that is the end of my war. Uh, five fights, five victories. That uh, brings me up to uh, 40, 52 and 1 on the season. And it brings us to victory. And uh, that brings us to 7 wins and 2 losses. Yep, 7 wins, 2 losses. So great start to the season for us. we got 3 more wars. I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and you guys have a great day.